The South Korean government has reportedly notified the U.S. of its plan to pay the salaries of South Korean workers working for U.S. armed forces in Korea as the two sides remain locked in tense defense cost sharing talks. Now, this comes as nearly 4,000 workers here in the nation have been placed on forced unpaid leave since the start of April, as negotiations between the two countries have struggled to make headway. Citing a government official, the Seoul-based Yonhap News Agency said Sunday that the South Korean government will pay the wages first and make up for it later by deducting the paid amount from its due payment to the U.S. once the deal is agreed. The government plans to pay 70 percent of the workers' wages based on the Labor Standards Act. However, if the U.S. opposes the idea, the South Korean government cannot provide the benefit payouts.